Hello everyone, you are all welcome back to Summer Seasons. Thank you all so much for keep coming back. Thank you for tuning in. You've been all amazing. Thank you for your support, your lovely comment, guys. Guys, you've been all amazing, I must say. So on today's video, I'm going to be making my special chicken strips, the spicy chicken strips. So on this recipe, we're going to be using the two boneless chicken breast so you want to first of all cut each chicken breast in halves and then work your way through each halves okay it's like so what i'm doing it's it is straightforward to achieve the strips okay and so in a clean bowl with your measuring cup we're gonna be adding one and a half a um, cup of milk and then one teaspoon of paprika one tablespoon of um, dried pepper i like it spicy so one teaspoon of garlic and powder and onion powder one teaspoon as well so you're going to go in with your maggie cubes i've got a known maggie cube so i'll be using one at this point and adding the other later so i've got two eggs i'm going to be whisking to the milk as well so after mixing you add your eggs and whisk very well make sure everything is well combined and incorporated and then you go in with your salt so that's just a pinch of salt and mix 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 very well and then i add the other um the other part of the maggi so the other cube that was remaining because it's two in one so i used one and then add the other one later yeah you can add both at the beginning but i just to build flavors really yeah so then you add your chicken the chicken strips that that you've caught and prepared just add it into the milk into the into um, into the milk you know and then stir continue to mix make sure everything is well incorporated in the chicken and then you just want to clean around the bowl and i'll be used with the help of a clean thing i'll be applying that clean thing and then put this into the fridge for at least half an hour but in my case i left it over i think i left it for like an hour 30 minutes so we're on the clean train while the chicken is in the fridge so you just need a cup with your measuring cup again you need a cup of all-purpose flour the plain flour yeah and I'll be adding a corn flour as well. So I'll be adding two tablespoons of corn flour, you know, to give to give a extra crunchiness, I would say, when you're frying the chicken. So you need corn flour. I highly recommend corn flour. Okay. Some people just make with the plain flour, but for extra for that extra crunch, you need the corn, the corn flour to make it crispy. Okay. So I'll be going in with the onion powder as well. So that's a teaspoon of onion powder. And also I'll be adding a teaspoon of the paprika. So the smoked paprika. So I'll be, I'll be adding a teaspoon of the smoked paprika. And also we'll be going in with, um, with some salt and seasoning as well. Okay. You need it because we're building the flavors so you season the chicken very well and then we're gonna be adding some little bit of seasoning not too much because we've added one and um, one cube one maggi cube in the chicken so that is marinating in the fridge so then i'll be adding just a little bit a teaspoon of with your measuring spoon so a teaspoon of um, all purpose the all purpose seasoning that's a teaspoon of the all purpose seasoning. So I'll be adding that to the flour mix and then combine everything well. Make sure it is well combined because by the time you're dipping the chicken to coat it with the flour, you don't want you don't want to be tasting some pat maggi salt. No, you want to make sure to combine everything well. Combine, combine well. At some point you can seize you can seal some balls or sauce balls of flour or or i think balls of cornstarch you can feel free to go in with your hand and just break them okay because they needs to be everything needs to be well combined and smooth okay ready for your chicken so once you've combined well 
just all you need to do is to put it aside at this point whilst your chicken is still marinating in the fridge okay or if you're ready straight away yeah so now that you've brought everything out so you want to have a clean train at the end your flour mix at the middle and your chicken at the beginning so you're going to work your way so you step one two three i call this <laughs> so you want to mix well so make sure everything is well combined okay and then with the with the help of your of your utensils yeah just pick the chicken and coat it at this case i'll just like mm, i think i better walk through with my hands so what i did was i picked the chicken up and then drop it into the flour mix and just rub through with my hands so i walk faster that way yeah so this this step wasn't really working for me you know so i just you know what on the flour mix i'll use my hand and coat it i'm african yes put your clean hands in there and go baby so that's what i did <laughs> honestly this way it's so quick like i pick the chicken up boom boom in the flour mix and go with my hands it's so so quick and straightforward so i just find it so easy so feel free guys to go with your hands okay yeah just yeah do what i'm doing yeah it is straightforward there's no big deal okay so i'm just basically repeating the same process of picking the chicken dropping the flour mix then go with my hands all right Add a reasonable amount of oil and how you check if the oil is hot enough, you just dip your, your turning stick into the oil and if it bubbles up, that's when you know it is ready and hot. Not too hot, okay? Then you just want to start putting the coated chicken into the oil and make sure to fry for about 7 to 8 minutes so it doesn't burn. You want a golden brown result. So guys fry for seven to eight minutes and turn frequently so it doesn't burn okay and as you can see mine is getting ready to come out now so guys you want to make sure to fry until golden golden brown okay that is my beautiful looking spicy chicken strips okay so what i'm going to be doing here i'm just going to be going over and over again to repeat the same process until everything it's all salted okay so guys here is it i present to you the yummiest spiciest <laughs> chicken strips honestly guys try this recipe okay give it a try and thank summer sizzles all right thank you all so much for watching do make sure to subscribe like and share all right guys take care of yourself i'll see you in my next one bye